Good afternoon. I'm Kim Baez. A massive fire that's been burning in eastern New Mexico is now close to containment. It burned 20 miles of grassland and destroyed at least three homes. News 13 Selena Westervelt has the story of one family whose dream went up in flames. This used to be the garage, and that big stack right there is sheetrock that we were using to finish the house. This was the master bedroom with a big bay window right here. And our bed was right there. Our daughter's bed is that bed that's still standing. Steve Robertson and his family were just months away from finishing their dream home on State Road 467. They fashioned every nail and laid each brick themselves. The $420,000 home, four years in the making, is now rubble. I got a job that I made $300 a week on, and we just did this completely by ourselves. And the insurance company wouldn't insure it until it was done, so we're just we're stuck. I don't know what we're going to do. Video from Sky Ranger shows the destructive fire tearing through Roosevelt and Curry counties yesterday afternoon. The fire started near Melrose and raced eastward. It was fanned by gusts exceeding 40 miles an hour. More than 30 agencies from around the region, including Texas, rushed to the scene trying to save more than two dozen homes. Three firefighters were hospitalized and treated for smoke inhalation and minor burns. The Robertsons say they had just moments to get out before everything was destroyed. We got an 89 year old woman that was living with us so all we had time to do was run in and get her and load her up and go. And they say they're thankful to be alive. Yesterday was Mrs. Robertson's birthday and her husband had just installed her birthday present. I had bought her all new stainless steel appliances for the kitchen. Stainless steel refrigerator, stove, dishwasher and it's, it's all just crumbled up like tinfoil over there. The Red Cross is helping the family and they're staying with a friend, but all they have is the clothes on their backs. In Curry County, Selena Westervelt, KRQE News 13. The fire was dubbed the Tire Fire because it was caused by sparks from a tire blowout on Highway 260.